Oh, this already looks pretty bad. And little birdie... I mean, he just left me, but... Little birdie said that the gate had been opened, but the gate is clearly got non-existent. I mean, it's gone. It's been knocked down, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe they... Maybe they opened the gate for... Maybe the gate was open for them. Then they got fed up of waiting, maybe, and stormed it down. I mean, they would have had to... They wouldn't have had time to shut it. That's prob that, That'll explain it. If they were putting walkers everywhere, they wouldn't have had time to close the gate. So they just blocked it off instead, because I suppose that's easier. But welcome to Karma Point. A lot of things have... Start getting overgrown. It won't be long until the sea starts getting overgrown completely, but... Okay. Take a deep breath, Ryan, okay. Oh, okay. I think I'm ready. Cover myself in walker guts and... I think I'm ready to head in, okay. They built some trenches as well, which is quite cool, but... Okay. There is a lot of Aces logos as well. Okay, let's head in here, I guess. Oh my god. Already I, I can see Tony is dead. Oh, and this gate, I'm just hoping that this gate hasn't, you know, hurt anyone or, you know, whatever. Hopefully everyone was out of the way of it. Maybe Tony got hit by it. That could be why he was dead. But right now we've got to make it look like I fell, like I'm a walker, okay? And oof. <laughs> And now, okay, I'm going to stop talking to myself now. I've got to be quiet. Or at least whisper to myself, maybe. <sighs> Tyler. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah. The walkers are surprisingly quiet for some reason. It's quite new, and Jesus, he's still alive. Oh, well, he's a walker, but not one that's been put down. Jesus, they they must have been on guard duty when everything happened, and just look at this, it's crazy, and there's lights on up there. That's Luna's place, if I remember rightly. Jesus, everything is overrun, I mean, and there's people like Luke, he's missing an arm, which is strange, I see quite a few people, most of them are Luna's people, which is quite strange. Uh, I'd imagine quite a few of our people, my old people, were also attacked during this. I mean, it can't, I can't believe that there's no way they went completely through this unscathed. So let's just keep going and look around for any signs of life, I suppose, other than Luna's tower or Luna's apartment, anyway. Um, there's a, hold on, hold on. Buddy and Glider. That could mean that... So, I see someone in there. Fingers think there's someone else in there. That could mean... Oh, oh, buddy's barking. That's not good. That's going to draw walkers towards him, but... Okay, slowly walk. Slowly walk. Oh my god, boy. He's barking. I think he's seen me. I think he knows it's me. Okay. And... Uh, okay. Uh, Frank! Oh, man, it feels good to be back. I'm, I'm glad to see you, Frank. I'm good, glad to see... Emily! Oh, my God. I'm sorry, I'm getting caught on there, but... Hey! Oh, my God, hey! She hugs you. Hey, it's, it's good to see you. The ace has attacked, huh? Yeah, yeah, about a day or two ago. Maybe even three. I honestly can't tell. We've been trapped here for a while. What, you and you and Frank? Not just Frank and I. Gabby and Francine are in the room we're protecting. Uh, uh, is... Is everything okay? Yes and no. Francine delivered the baby. Gabby had a girl. She named her Clara. That's great. Is, is Gabby okay? I don't think she's going to last much longer. We warmed her up as much as possible, but she's still freezing. She's dying, Ryan. Oh, oh God, my best friend is dying. 
She starts crying. It's okay. It's okay, seriously. We'll be alright. You you didn't mention Jay. Where's he? He he left weeks ago. The closer Gabby got to having the baby, the more freaked out he got. He got cold feet and he just dropped out in the middle of the night. Left his hat for the baby and left a note too, just saying sorry. So he's gone. Yeah, and if Gabby dies, that that baby will have no one. Her dad dropped out on her, and her mother died shortly after giving birth. What then? I think we'll have to leave that up for Gabby to Gabby to decide. I mean, if if she does make a decision, then I mean, there's not many things we can really do other than look after the baby ourselves, right? But but. It's going to be okay. I promise you that. Y you can't promise that. The Aces came back, Ryan. They attacked Far Row. They killed Jack, Lucas, and Kenma. They took our home from us. Now they've come here and they've attacked us again. This time we've lost more people. This time we've lost more than three. It won't be long until they clear up the walkers and take over Karma Point 2. We'll just have to fight back then, won't we? Yeah? So, I'm going to go out back and I'm going to speak to Gabby and Francine. Maybe comfort Gabby a little, make her feel comfortable if I possibly can. There's not really much I can do, but I'll see what I can do at least, I promise. Everything's going to be okay. Okay, let's head out back then. <clears throat> hey. <laughs> wow. She's, she's beautiful. Gabby, congratulations. Um, hey, R Ryan. Hey, hey, Gabby. How how are you feeling? Cold. I I feel cold. Do you want my jacket? I mean, I know it's covered in guts and whatever, but I can take this one off, and you can have my hoodie if you'd like. It it won't it it won't help. I'm dying. I'm dying, Ryan. I just had a beautiful girl, and now I'm dying. You... You have to take care of her. Gabby, I... It has to be you. You and Emily. No one else. It, it has to be you. Of course. We'll take care of her. You know we will. I know. Her name is Clara. When, when she's older, I, wa I want you to give her my hat and my jacket. You'll do that for me, won't you? Of course I will. Here Jay left his hat too. He did. When the hats actually stay on their head, let her choose which one she wants to wear. Alright. I'll make sure to do that, okay? G good. Just make sure that she's safe. Yeah. Everyone will protect her. You know that. We really do have some great people with us. I'm glad I found Christra at the beginning. I mean... When we all split up right at the beginning, when we were in the cabin, I didn't think I'd find anyone again. It was just Tegan, Stephanie, Emily and I. Then we found Krista, Kevin, Fit, Carter, Ollie and Stry. I was so happy that it wasn't just us. We'd been alone for months, thinking everyone was dead. Thought Solomon was dead too. Didn't want him to be, considering we were dating at the time. Then, when I found out you killed him for killing that old man and that girl, I didn't know what to think. The thing that kept me going was the fact that I might find him someday. And, quite frankly, I blamed you for a long time, you know. I knew he killed two people and that you had to kill him because of that, but I saw it as you being in the wrong. Deep down, I knew you did the right thing, but... It wasn't until I killed someone myself that I understand. I understood what it actually did to you. You and Sol were close. That must have made it that much harder. It did. But, looking back on it now, I have so many regrets. I, I mean, I, I was young. Younger, anyway. Not, it hasn't been that long, but... Two years younger, you know? I, I was naive, I, I thought that I was doing the right thing, but, you know, 
thinking back to it now, there were so many people that I killed that I didn't have to. One of those people was Solomon. I, I mean, I, I didn't have to kill him. I could have just taken him back with us. We could have kept him prisoner. We could have locked him up. I don't know, but killing him was the easy option. It was the way to cut corners. And back then, that's exactly what I did. Killing him was a lot easier than keeping him prisoner, trying to make him see what he did was wrong. I see that now. And I shouldn't have took the shortcuts. And I'm making sure I never will again, but... I mean, I can regret it, but there's nothing I can do about it now. You did. He killed two innocent people for no reason whatsoever. No justification. You could have knocked him out, tied him up, yeah. However, he'd have just broke free and took his anger out on someone else. Maybe multiple people. There are so many things that I would have liked to change. But now I can't. I was planning just the other day for what my life would be like. Jay left me right when I needed him. That made me decide that I don't want him in Clara's life. If he comes back, don't let him look after her. I lost Sol to his own stupidity. And I lost Jay to the same thing. Jay may not be dead, but honestly, he might as well be. What they say about your life flashing before your eyes, I think it's true. Because over the past few hours, I've been seeing every bad decision and every good decision I've ever made. All the mistakes and the memories, the, the pain and the happiness. Every single thing, yet yeah, I sit here and I'm not afraid. Because I know that no matter what happens to me, my daughter will get to carry on. She'll get to grow up and she'll be safe. Because I believe in you. I believe in what you can do. And I know you will keep her safe. Wow. Thank you. I, I promise. I mean, I know I'm not really old enough to be a dad or anything like that, but... I promise you, I'll I'll do the very best I can. The last thing that will ever happen to that girl is dying. I will I will die way before I let it happen to her. I promise. Right, Gabby, you need to rest. Sleep will help you feel better. Yeah. Okay. She's she's right. Francie's right. I'll leave you be then. Okay, Gabby. I'll let you get some rest and. A few things I want to speak to Francine about anyway, but, um, <clears throat> hey Francine, hey Ryan, um, I see you delivered the baby, is, is she okay? Yeah, Clara is fine, Gabby isn't though, that's why she needs as much sleep as possible. We don't have any painkillers whatsoever, I didn't mean to cut your conversation off, it's just, I'm a bit worried about Gabby. Me too. I mean, I didn't want to talk about her, considering she sat there, sat right there, but, you know, I get it. She understands what happening, what's happening, and she seems to have made peace with it. Yeah. She just said that. Also, I don't know if this is weird or not, but there's something I noticed. Shouldn't the baby be crying? It is strange, yeah. She did cry for a couple of seconds a few days ago, but she hasn't since. We took her out front just to walk around with her, and I think she saw the walkers. They didn't seem to scare her, but it's since then that she hasn't cried. Is it possible, now this is going to sound quite crazy, but is it possible that maybe she picked up on us being quiet, so she's doing the same? I mean... I suppose it could be. I'm a surgeon. I didn't study in this kind of thing. She's either picked up on us being quiet and decided she should too, or she's a mute. Except she's cried before, so I don't think that's the case. I did read before everything that babies sometimes pick up on the emotions and stress if someone around them is feeling it. So I'd like to say that it is possible she's picking up on our situation and is doing what we are. 
I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I suppose she's probably doing that. If it's not that, then I still don't think it's anything to worry about quite yet. When we get out of here, I'll be able to run a few tests, but for now I can't do much. Anyway, how did you get here? Where have you been? Uh, I actually walked here, and I've been in a prison. You've been what? No, 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 not, not as a prisoner. I found a prison and have been living there. Did you manage to find any supplies? Uh, yeah, quite a lot, actually. You also seem like you're in a better mental state. How did you accomplish that? Believe it or not, I actually met a psychiatrist or counsellor, whatever they're called, named Ellie. At the prison? Uh, yeah, actually. And two other doctors named Tara and Shay. Right, so, is Travis and Anton okay? Yeah, they're, they're completely fine. We've had a few changes, but we're, we're good. Changes? Yeah, yeah, nothing major, nothing to worry about, just haircuts and things like that. Alright, yeah, yeah, I, I, I did notice you got a haircut. A uh, man bun is a bold choice, I guess. Uh, something like that, yeah. I mean, it wasn't really much my choice. There was, there's a girl at the prison that just cut my hair however she wanted it, so this is just what she did. I'll probably end up growing it back and then not having a man bun anymore, because quite frankly, I mean, I don't mind it, but I don't like how cold my head gets, because she shaved the sides completely. I think I just want to let it grow back. I might keep the man bun, because it's, it's fairly alright, to be honest. I've always wanted to try it out, so why not, but... Either way, we've been working on securing the prison for ages now. Is that why you came back? Because you wanted to take us to the prison? Actually, not quite. Um, I was going to do that, but only once I'd finished securing the prison. Actually, little birdie came to me and said people were in danger, so I rushed here as fast as I could. Alright, did he come back with you? Um, actually, no. I don't know where he went, he just said that he had to go somewhere else to get something, and then he went off elsewhere, so... Alright, maybe he had other things to do. So, how are you going to get us out of here? Well, as you can see, I'm covered in walker guts, so... Like that, I presume. Brian, Gabby and the baby won't be able to make that trip. I know, that's why only I'll go. I'll find people, and we'll take out the walkers. Okay, okay. Luna is in the apartments with some of her people. And your family. Your mother and father are in their house. If you go out the front door, it's on the left and round the corner. Okay, I'll go get help. We'll make a stand, okay? And, um, just hold on tight, okay? I'll, I'll, as soon as everything outside is secure, maybe Emily and Frank can help us out, but... As soon as everything is clear, we'll come back here for you, and we'll make sure we run some tests on on Clara, and hopefully at least maybe get some painkillers or antibiotics into Gabby, and hopefully she'll pull through, but I'm going to go and find my family and let them know what the plan is, okay? I'll be back, be back in a bit.